Yikes. We turn now to Greco-Roman wrestling in the final of the men's heavyweight division. The overwhelming favorite is the guy you just saw, Russian Alexander Karelin. These are the numbers. Olympic gold medals, three. World titles, nine. Career losses in international competition, zero, since debuting in 1987. But those don't tell a ruble's worth of this story. Karelin weighed 15 pounds upon birth, and imposing has been his middle name ever since. He comes to the land down under from the forbidding and vast Russian region of Siberia, perhaps the most feared athlete in Olympic history. Karelin is a chiseled figure of muscle and might who seems more fit for a comic strip than reality. He is at once Hercules in his strength and in his intimidating powers, like Medusa, the Gorgon who would turn men into stone. And in the case of Karelin, we're talking about gifted grapplers uncommonly large. You may recall four years ago in Atlanta when his final victim, American Matt Gaffari, was reduced to tears, although emotion played a part in that. Here now, in his own words, the 33-year-old Siberian strongman. Do you need a reason to fear me? I fight for my beloved Russia. I haven't lost a match in 13 years. Champion olympique et médaille d'or représentant la Fédération de Russie. Alexander Kalinin of the Soviet Union, Olympic champion and gold medalist. Alexander Kalinin, the Federation of Russia. Three Olympics, three gold medals, nine world championships. My soul, complicated and fierce, is pure Russian. Wrestling is a struggle of titans. I believe wrestling is poetry. I'm waiting for the one man who can bring me down. Wrestling is how I express myself. Some say I have lost my fire. Some say my country is weak. But look at my victories and see my country's tradition. Feel Russia's power. 